followed behind. And then when that idea doesn't suit me anymore, or I don't feel that validation on that idea, then it's time to move off to the other one. Because the actual thing that I fell in love with, now that I'm saying out loud, is the process of starting, not finishing. Mm -hmm. Well, and what got you here won't get you there, right? So if what you want is this ultimate success of managing assets, of taking down assets, of whatever that is, of writing a course or a book, you know, it, it's not done till it's done, you know? And I, one thing that I kind of struggle with is when I have this baby of an idea uh, and I've put in all of this work and I'm 85% finished, like if it's not working, when do I accept that it's time to let go? Like the, the idea of scrum, like that's another book that is fantastic. Like when to fail fast and, and learn from that and then sculpt whatever's next on top of it. So, you know, when is it worth committing to the mundane and when is it worth letting go? And how do you guys then make that decision? That's a super hard one. <laughs> that's, that's I, I don't know if I have a, a great answer there. I think one of the things that we've used in a number of our businesses is the idea of firing bullets before cannonballs and, and moving very quickly into projects. And so for people that aren't familiar with that analogy of the bullets versus cannonballs, I want you to imagine we're, we're back in the pirate days. We're on a boat. We're on a ship. We're out at the, on sea. And we see a boat coming on the horizon towards us. And they have their Jolly Roger flag flying. So we know they don't mean us um, anything good. And so we need to sink their, their ship before they get to us. Now, if we just start firing cannonballs at them, then we haven't triangulated the course. And so a lot of our cannonballs are going to land in the water. They're not going to hit the boat. And by the time we finally hit the boat, we've triangulated the trajectory. Well, now we're out of cannonballs because we can only carry so many of those. So the better strategy is to fire bullets first because we've got a lot of bullets. We can carry a ton of those. Triangulate the trajectory. And then once we've hit the boat and we know how to hit it, now we fire cannonballs. And so in business, the way this manifests is we fire bullets, we move really quickly at projects, at a market or a product or a service or at a customer base, and we just prove the concept in the smallest way possible. So the minimum viable product, get it out there and see if you can hit the thing. And if you can hit the thing, okay, now it's time to go big towards the thing. And when you, when you go with this mindset, it allows you to fail quickly and pivot and say, okay, well, let's scrap that idea. Turns out we're not very good at delivering that product, that service to that market. And then you can pivot or you can say, oh, that was actually pretty close. Let's just make a tweak. And once you make that tweak, then you can start going bigger towards it. But it comes back to this idea that Austin, you were touching on there, was that we we look at visionaries in a particular way. You know, people, I have always kind of laughed at people who put visionary in their bios, like I'm a visionary. Like, what's that really mean? Like more and like cooler is if somebody 